Hey guys, it's Erica here from VidCat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to automatically post your Squarespace blogs to your social media. So if you're already blogging with Squarespace and you use social media, then this video is for you. You probably already manually post your social content to your social media, but did you know you can actually automatically post it via Squarespace? As in, Squarespace will post your blog posts to your social media when the actual blog is published. Now, there are some limitations to this and it behaves a little differently depending on what social platforms you're using, but it's a pretty cool feature that you should definitely consider using. So let's dive in. Okay, so I'm on Squarespace 7.1 right now, but I am gonna jump back and forth between 7.1 and 7.0 just to show you some minor differences. But generally this is all the same and this beginning bit is exactly the same on both too. So the first thing we need to do is connect our accounts in the connect social accounts area and you'll find this under settings, connected accounts. So this is the very first thing you're gonna to need to do if you want to automatically post your blog posts to any of your social media. And with blog posts, you can post to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Tumblr. Take your pick. I'm gonna connect Facebook as I work through this example, but yeah, just choose whatever you want to automatically post to. So I'm gonna click connect account and then choose Facebook. Log into your account within the pop-up. And then once you've logged in, your account should show up. You might need to refresh to see it, but you'll be able to see here, it will say push enabled. If it doesn't say that, just click on the icon and have a look at the settings and just make sure you have the push option selected. Also, if you are doing Facebook and you have multiple Facebook pages, including a personal and a business, just make sure to select the actual account you want to push to. In this case, it will be the Big Cat Creative Facebook page and click save. Now, if you wanna connect multiple accounts, just continue through those steps with the different platforms. Okay, so now we're gonna enter the step where we actually set up our blog posts to automatically push to social media. Basically, that just means that when the blog is published, Squarespace is gonna automatically take it and post it to whichever social media accounts you've assigned. Now, they won't assign just by connecting them here. This is just the first step. We'll actually need to go into individual blog posts and set that up. So if you have a blog, we're gonna go back into it. Okay, so now I have my blog open in Squarespace 7.1 and Squarespace 7.0, and they look a little bit different. The design's a little bit different, but also the way we set this up is very slightly different. So I'll just show you the two differences. So let's go back to 7.1, and some things you need to know is the automated posting will only actually happen once per post. So it will only happen when you originally publish the post, but if you do want to set it up to post again or repost later on, you will still have to do that manually. So while this automatic post feature is really handy, it's not perfect. You can't set it up to post multiple times or repost it at a later date, and you do have to set it up for every blog post. So when you add a new blog, and you're entering in the settings, you do just have to remember to assign that post to be automatically published. And I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm just adding a new post. This will look a little bit different in Squarespace 7.0, but it's just the same as adding a new post. And then we're gonna go into the post settings, which you should be doing anyway before you post anything, because you always wanna make sure your blog post settings are looking right. The main differences between 7.0 and 7.1 come here. So in 7.1, this is the panel, you click the three dots and click settings. So on 7.0, you click edit instead of settings. And this post editor looks a little bit different, but it does actually have all of the same settings. So back in 7.1, we're going to fill in all your blog settings like you normally would. And then at the end, you'll wanna come down to share. Over in 7.0, you'll just click share up here. It's essentially the same list. It just goes across the top instead of going down the left side. So here in this panel, you're gonna see whatever accounts you have connected with push enabled. So all you need to do is enable your social media platform in that blog post settings area. And you'll notice on that each of these, you'll see where it says message. And right now the default is the percentage symbol and the U. And that essentially means that it's just going to show the URL in the description. So you can edit this to show the title, which might be better than just showing the URL. 
So to do that, you would just type in percentage T, which is for title, probably add a space, and you can also add any other text that you want to, but you can see now that it says new post title, which will be the actual title of your post, and then the URL. You could also add something like new post, and you can see that that's added that to the beginning. So have a play around with that. So percentage T is the title, percentage U is the URL, and you can also do percentage A, which is the author at the end if you wanted to do something like written by, and you can do that same thing over here in Squarespace 7.12, exactly the same, and it will give you a nice little preview down there. So like I said before, you do have to manually add and enable this account every time you post a blog, otherwise it's not going to automatically post. You can't go back in here after the post has been published on your site and then push the post. You would have to manually post it at that point. So if you do want to set this up, just make sure that every time you go through your settings, you make this part of your process and just add in those share settings. I'm not going to click save or publish on this because I don't want it to actually go out to my Facebook page, but of course you can save it as a draft and then when you're ready to publish it, you can publish it later. If you do have a system for exactly how you want your post titles to display and you don't want to type it in every time, you can actually set this exact format up as like the standard format within the connected accounts area that we visited at the beginning. So let me just copy what I've written here and let's say you want to have this exact format every single time and you don't want to type it in every time. I'm just going to go back to the connected accounts area under setting connected accounts click on my social to open up the settings and you can see here it says default posting format. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And now every time I go into those share settings on a blog post, this is already going to be set up within there if I save it. Now two things to note here that Squarespace recommends that if you're posting to Twitter, always include that percentage U, so the URL variable, as this isn't something that Twitter includes natively. And then on the opposite hand, with Pinterest, you don't actually need to include the percentage U because on Pinterest, they post the URL automatically. Anyway, it's a really simple setup in my opinion and it can actually save you a lot of time and remembering to post things on social media. So definitely check it out. Let me know how you go if you have any questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.